In the last video, we went over how to set up a Gmail account and how to join your Google Classrooms. If you haven't done that, go back and watch the previous video and then come back to this one. In this video, we will be doing a Google Classroom walkthrough to show you all the features of Google Classroom as well as how to use them. Now let's start with some basic information on the teachers. So each page or each classroom is managed by the teachers for that subject. However, not all of the teachers for each level are in the classroom, but there will generally be at least one for that grade. For example, teacher Connor is not a part of the 10th grade math class, but teacher Drew is. Each student should have four classes. Each student should have a humanities class, a math class, an application class, and a Somali class. Now, if you are missing one, refer to the Abarso ASAP newsletter that contains the table of codes for your classes. Refer to the setting up Gmail and Google Classroom video to help you make a Gmail account and join your classrooms if you have not done so yet. Google Classroom is a lot easier to understand if you actually play around with it, so now we're going to show you how to use it in a walkthrough. Okay, now let's do a walkthrough of Google Classroom just to make sure that you're comfortable using the platform. When you open Google Classroom, either in the app or in your web browser, it should look something like this. Of course, you'll have more classes, but they should all be listed right here. For this practice walkthrough video, we're just going to use the sample class that we joined at the end of the last video. So let's get started. First, I click on the class, and then it takes us here. So let's take a look at what we see. We see stream, classwork, people, a box that says upcoming, but no work is due soon. And it looks like there's four things right here. All right, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. New material, video, writing a book report. Hmm. Oh, look, it says writing a book report. This looks like an Abarso ASAP video from the YouTube channel. Wow. All right. So we click on it and without even needing to go to YouTube or another app, it plays it right here in the classroom. Fantastic. So we watched the video, all 14 minutes of it, and then let's go and see what else is in the class. All right, it looks like there is an assignment book report, an assignment quiz, and a question. Hmm, I don't feel ready to do a quiz. Book report sounds long. Let's look at this, let's look at the question. What's your favorite type of book? And the teacher says, be honest. Okay, uh, funny, sad, scary, inspiring, or none of the above. Um, favorite type of book? I would say none of the above. And then to submit my answer, I just click turn in. Yes, turn in. All right, I'm the only one in the class that has responded. Everything else is zero, and I'm the only one that I've said none of the above. Excellent. I really liked this question, so I'm going to go here where it says private comments, and I'm going to leave a comment for my teacher. Great question. And then I send it, and my teacher will get a notification that I have left a private comment. All right, let's go back. So we've looked at the video, we've answered the question. Now there's two assignments still to do. Let's do the assignment book report first. Read a book of your choice and then write a book report for it. The book should be at least 30 pages long. Okay, so say you've read the book and you're ready to submit your book report. You have a couple choices here. One, you can go and leave a private comment Remember in the last section, we said, great question. Here, if you want, you can write the book report, book report here. So that's one choice. Another option you have is to click here, add or create. And from here, you can either upload a file from your computer, say if you made it in Microsoft Word or LibreOffice Writer, or you can also make it in a Google Doc. So let's click Google Doc to see what it would look like. It's creating and then it should open.
All right, here we are. It says assignment book report, and then I have this entire page to write my book report. Say that we have finished and we're ready to turn it in. You just go back to the old window and it's already right here. So all we have to do is click turn in when attachment will be submitted and turn in. And just like that, it's been submitted and your teacher can look at it and then send you comments on how you did. All right, so that's finished and let's go back to the class. It looks like the only thing left to do is the quiz, parts of a book report. All right, parts of a book report. I have to click this link and it should take me to a Google form. All right. What information is part of a book setting? These are check boxes, so I think I can pick more than one. Ah, I can, excellent. All right, um, time, plot, no, often no, place, yes. Okay, that feels good. What should always go at the beginning of a book report? This one. All right, I feel good, so let's submit. View my score. Oh, fantastic. I got both questions correct because they're in green. Excellent. Wow, exciting. All right, so now let's go back to the quiz and let's mark it as done. It says you didn't attach work, but because it was done in a Google form, the teacher will still see it. So still click mark as done. All right. It looks like we've done all of the assignments. Let's take a look at the classwork tab. Look, it has all of the assignments that we had. On the right, it says the due dates. Luckily, these are all due in a couple weeks, so we will not be late. If I want to see all of the due dates for multiple assignments, I can click on Google Calendar and it will list them in a calendar. And if I want to look at all of the material, I can click on the class drive folder and it'll all be there. We don't have anything due soon, but the part on the left will show you when assignments are due and if you turned it in or not. And that's it. This is Google Classroom. I hope you're comfortable with it. And if not, feel free to rewatch this video or reach out to us with any questions you might have. Okay, now that we've done a walkthrough, Let's do some review and go over the expectations going forward. Symbols. If you see this symbol, this signifies material. So in the classroom, when you see this, this means that you might have a link to an Abarso ASAP video, a link to a website, a link to a document, or more. If you see this symbol, that means it's an assignment. So this can take the form of maybe a quiz, a short answer question, or an assignment where you need to take a picture and upload something. And the last one is a single question. So while a quiz under the assignment category could involve multiple questions, this one will only be one question. Think of it like a quick survey. Now, what to expect each week from each class. From each class, you should have at least one piece of material and at least one assignment. So since you will have four classes, expect at least four videos and four assignments each week. And here's the weekly schedule. On Sunday, humanities classes will publish their materials. On Monday will be the math classes. And then Wednesday and Thursday will be your application and Somali classes. Now, communicating with teachers, which is one of the key reasons we decided to open up Google Classroom. On each assignment, you'll see an option to give private comments. We went over this in the walkthrough. This is how you can communicate directly with your teacher. You just type into this box, click the send button, and your teacher will get an email with your comment and they will be able to see your comment from their own Google Classroom. They can then respond and you can send messages back and forth within the classroom. Now, some of you might be wondering, is this graded? 
These assignments are not being graded for term three. However, mastering the competencies of each grade is necessary in order to move on to the next grade. So if you are not practicing here, we will know. All right, welcome to Google Classroom. I hope everything makes sense and you are excited to get started. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at asap at abarsoschool.org.